My father, he came to Hartford, Connecticut with just 57 cents in his pocket to cook Chinese food in a Chinese restaurant. And I grew up in that Chinese restaurant. And in one generation, we went from that Chinese restaurant kitchen to the Attorney General's office here. It, it's an incredible American story. I can't think of five lawyer jobs in the world that I would rather have, honestly. Being a state attorney general is not just the best job in state government, it's just, it's just one of the best jobs in the law. Because there's nothing like speaking for, representing, and asserting the power of a state. We have the ability to weigh in on and support and move legislation in a way that other elected officials don't because of the platform of this office. After the murder of six Asian American women in Georgia and the brutal, fatal beating of Yao Pan Ma in New York and so many instances of anti-Asian hate, I convened a national convening of attorneys general and advocates. That's led to not just a national conversation, but in many states, a focus on Asian hate crimes and how we prevent them. If there's no Michelle Wu, if there's no Grace Mung, if there's no attorney general sitting in this chair, nobody will care. That's the truth. You need people to speak out for you and uh, to fight for you, to make sure that law enforcement takes it seriously. Here in Connecticut, you know, one way to combat hate is to educate people and to get them to understand that we are not other, we're not foreigners, we're Americans. And teaching Asian American history uh, in schools are incredibly, is incredibly important and we're one of the first states in the nation to require the teaching of Asian American in Pacific Island. Islander. Yes, yes. And so from outside of the legislature, using my platform, using the voice of the Attorney General, we were able to get that passed. My parents ran a Chinese restaurant starting fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, I was working nights and weekends with my family. I remember very clearly in the restaurant, um, there was a door from the kitchen to the dining room. And I would always look through that door and I would see other families who didn't look like me enjoying their Friday night dinner. And I was always aware that there was a door between us, a barrier that I was somebody other than the people in the dining room, that maybe we weren't um, really Americans in the same way that they were. And I think the reason why um, I pursued public service is so, um, so I could get through that door and get to the dining room and actually have a seat at the table and, and to speak for people like my parents and our family who are stuck in the kitchen. And I can do every job in a Chinese restaurant. To this day, I think if we went to a kitchen right now, you gave me an hour just to get comfortable again, I can cook almost everything on a Chinese restaurant menu. The key here is, again, high heat and quick. I think I'm the third elected Asian American Attorney General, and that's not very many. In order to have a real voice and real political power in this country is a long road. You know, I've been at it for 17 years and the voters willing, um, we have a little more road ahead of us. And by the way, my parents, you know, like most Chinese Americans came here and grew up reading Sajid Ball. Well, it's the source of news for our community in many respects. So I grew up with Chinese newspapers all over the dining room table, although I unfortunately never really learned how to read Chinese. So I'm a little bit of a failure in that regard. You're with a journalist from World Journal. They wanna know 
your name and Ba's name. What are the characters? And then I'm Tang Wei Ling. Yeah, you know that one already. Wei Da Wei Da Da Wei Qi Ling Ling. Yeah. This is embarrassing. I can't do it. Sorry. <laughs> you don't put that on the video. No, no, no. Silent, sorry. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, bye, mom. Nothing. They're just asking. They're doing a story. Now you got to go buy the paper. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye.